But you do a full Hebrew version. Can you explain us why you've chosen for that? Uh, because I think uh, we have a very unique language and we should be proud of our language and of our country. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I think we are unique and we should show it to the world. And Israel uh, does that yeah, almost every year. So, so it's important to your uh, country to, to show that culture of yours? Uh, it's important to me. Uh, and, uh, and I hope uh, we will bring the, the honor and, uh, and maybe the trophy, <laughs> maybe. Do you think that's, that it's uh, 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 an, an option that, that it come, can come true? You know, it always can be an option. Uh, the, rule, the rule in the Eurovision is that there are no rules. So, uh, it can always be an option. We hope for good things. One more thing about the language, because uh, we see very often that Israel uh, chooses to do uh, both Hebrew and, and English, uh, but you don't even make that switch. Well, why a full version? Um, a full version in English? No, in he, no uh, you do it fully in, in Hebrew. In Hebrew. When we mostly see Israel Did do, do uh, a switch to English. Did you consider that even? Yes, I considered that. but. Um, we try to translate the song, uh, even a half of it, to English, and we we are afraid to ruin the song. And it's a very beautiful song, so keep it in Hebrew. It's beautiful. Finally, can you uh, look into the camera and uh, say greetings to the ESC Daily watchers? Uh, hello to all the watchers from uh, ESC Daily. Here's uh, Moran Mazor from Israel. I. Uh, I really hope you vote for me and make my dream come true. Uh, it's very important to me. Sending you kisses from Israel.